Now for a report you only see right here on NBC Montana. This week, news broke that Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, is under investigation by federal prosecutors in Virginia who are looking into what role the company may be playing in the sale of illegal drugs on its platforms. National correspondent Atra El Nishar has a closer look at the issue. Drug trafficking these days is often done by the tap of a touchscreen. Dealers and buyers turning to apps like Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. The DEA says using emoji codes for cocaine, heroin, Adderall, Percocet, and Oxycodone. Then pay on another app like Venmo or Zelle. The DEA also says those sales are directly connected to overdose deaths. Remember that no legitimate medication can be purchased on social media. The Wall Street Journal first to report federal prosecutors in Virginia are investigating whether Meta's platforms facilitate and profit from those drug sales. Meta tells us the sale of illicit drugs is against our policies and we work to find and remove the content from our services. Meta proactively cooperates with law enforcement authorities to help combat the sale and distribution of illicit drugs. In 2020, Congress set up a commission to combat synthetic opioid trafficking. Researchers like David Lucky proved how accessible these drugs are when they searched common terms on various platforms. We found that it was extremely simple and easy and inexpensive. The sites themselves have to self-monitor. If they're not able or willing to self-monitor, then regulations need to be put in place so that others can monitor them. Drug sales are not the only illegal activity on Meta's platforms under scrutiny. In a lawsuit filed late last year, New Mexico's attorney general accuses the company of funneling likely victims of sexual exploitation, often children, to potential predators. On this issue, Meta also points to its cooperation with law enforcement, information sharing with other companies, and work with child safety experts to root out predators. Congress also has a lot of catching up to do when it comes to filling in the regulatory gaps to crack down on dangerous activity on social media. Now, in just the past 14 months, dozens of bills to do that have been introduced. But so far, just a small handful have been brought up for a vote. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrell Nishar.